Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Baumeister Soda. Today we have a director extraordinaire. My wife gave him voice lessons once. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Laskowski. Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay. Michael Laskowski, how you doing, buddy? Doing great, Frank. Thank you for having me. So is it true my wife gave you vocal lessons? Yes. What? Back in the day when I was just a little tyke, Amy gave me voice lessons for about two years or so. Hey, you're a Denmark boy. Yes, I graduated from Denmark High School. They have a great theater program there. They do. They do, and a beautiful facility oh, now. Oh, God. I am just blown away. So were you involved with theater when you were at Denmark? I was, yes. I, uh, I actually started with... With uh, community theater productions, okay. and then eventually, when I got to high school, was involved in all the musicals, the plays, forensics, show choir, vocal jazz, you name it. Let me ask you a question. You're a director. I know you're directing mm -hmm. stuff, but do you have the acting bug too? Occasionally. I only have it occasionally. Like every two or three years, I get the itch to get back on stage. But really, I like being a director just because I like making all the magic happen. Yeah. People tell me, people ask me all the time, well, what is it that I like about directing? And that's basically it. Making something happen from basically nothing. Because every production starts with the exact same thing, a bare stage. And then we just build up from there. And I like the, create the creation process of that. Let's talk about directing. Because that's your forte and mm -hmm. what you'd really do. You were at, uh, was it Little Wolf Theater? Oh, Wolf River Theater. Wolf River Theater, that's mm -hmm. right, right. For five years, how was that experience? That was wonderful. It was in a, an abandoned church, so it was redone and uh, remodeled into a theater setting, and just, we were able to do so much with that space. I mean, just by looking at it, you wouldn't think there was really much to it, because it was a very small proscenium stage, only 90 people in the house, but there was so much that we were able to do with it. Oh my God! Speaking of churches, hmm, kind of, kind of, kind of go together here with the, the <laughs> Abrams Theater, and it's called uh, again uh, the Bing Community Theater, mm -hmm. which is an old Catholic church. Correct. Now, yes. I, I want to talk a little bit about Abrams Spotlight Productions because that's what you're doing a new show. But tell me about that space, the Bing Theater. What is that like? The Bing Theater is very similar to what I worked with at Wolf okay. River. It is a small proscenium stage, but again, there is a lot that we can do with it because I have an amazing design team, okay. and they have been doing this for years, and they know exactly what they're doing. Let's talk about Footloose. How's it been going? It has been amazing. This is actually the first musical I have ever directed. Really? Yes. I have stage managed musicals. I have been in a number of musicals. Yeah. But this is actually the first time I have taken the reins as director. How did you get these guys to audition? What, what's your, what's your uh, I guess, angle? How do you get these people to come? I just basically, I go to see a lot of shows. Okay. And a lot of times it's for scouting. And I see people on stage and I just, uh, something in their performance just tells me something. That, yeah. hey, maybe they might be good for this role. Maybe they might be good for that role. So what are the dates of the show this weekend? June 28th through the 30th. All Friday performances are at 7 o'clock. Saturday performances are at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. And then all Sunday performances are at 1 o'clock p.m. And how do they get tickets? That's the big thing. Tell the camera. <laughs> they, you can go to uh, www.abramstheater.com. That is going to be the fastest and the easiest way to get tickets, but they are going fast. Again, Footloose. Again, it is at the Abrams Spotlight Production. If you haven't been up to the Bing Theater up there in Abrams, it is beautiful. Michael, thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck in the future, my friend. Thank you, Frank. All right. Join us next week as we bring you another creative person from northeastern Wisconsin. So the show was sold out last week, and uh -oh. there's still tickets available this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Nice. So, yeah. Looks like at your picks. Let's get my picks of the week. Of course, number four, Footloose. <laughs> Abrams Spotlight Production, Bang Theater, if you haven't seen it. Old Church, beautiful, beautiful. Three, uh, got one more uh, Encore Productions, Little Shoots and Ladders, tomorrow night, Wednesday, Capital Civic Center, Manitowoc. Tickets are available. Number two, Knox, Hamilton, Kyle Manga. Yeah, tonight it is, Levet. AMP music seri series at uh, Light uh, Memorial Park. Tonight, get down there. Starts around 5 o'clock. Number one, hey, hey, guess what? We're at Friday's on the Fox <laughs> this Friday. Free show. Come out and see. We're going we're gonna to play tunes from the last two shows. So you'll hear 70s, 80s. And uh, I'm not going to be dressed as well. I was just wondering, are we doing being, Where's Frank where, where's again? Fra you couldn't see me in that, right? I, I couldn't. I, I was looking for you the whole time that that graphic was up. And I couldn't find you. I, it was no, crazy. Thank you, Paul. Very good yeah, disguise. Yeah. All right, franklygreenbay.com. Thanks, Frank.